welcome back to the Chronicles AFC Daily where we'll be bringing you the latest stories surrounding Arsenal Football Club at midday every day. Uh, so if you haven't already, hit subscribe, hit the like button and uh, thanks for your continued support. Now we're going to start off today's video uh, with Granit Xhaka. He is being linked with a move to Inter and the whispers have reportedly come from inside the Swiss training camp ahead of their UEFA Nations League game versus Portugal. RSI sports reporter Marcello Iarache, I think I've said that right, who is with the squad, says there are intensifying whispers about this. And granted, that's not much to go by. But that same reporter later on said that Granit Xhaka had refused to deny the story. And so the interest in this, of course, has understandably grown. Granit Xhaka has had his critics since joining the club, and many feel that he isn't good enough. Um... But if that's the case, would it not be a good time to cash in and fund part of the rebuild of the squad that we you know, so clearly need? As a close follower of Serie A, I've got to say that the Italian game would probably suit Granit Xhaka down to a T. It's slower, a lot more tactical, and having that extra few seconds on the ball will probably allow him to better showcase his technical quality. Now, Inter are now being managed by Antonio Conte, one of the world's top football managers and there's a real feeling that under his stewardship the Nerazzurri can challenge Juventus for next season's Scudetto. The proposition of playing under such a manager would be an attractive one to any footballer so I wouldn't be surprised if Xhaka feels he can develop further under the Italian rather than under Unai Emery. I've taken um, quite a bit of stick on social media for saying this this morning but that's my genuine opinion. I genuinely do think that Antonio Conte as a manager is a much more attractive proposition for any footballer. He's not personal to Unai Emery. I just don't think he's quite that level. He's quite at the Conte level. I don't think he has that respect in the game at this moment in time. I do want to stress, though, that at this stage, these are just reports. Uh, so bear that in mind when discussing this. Me, personally, I don't want to see Granit Xhaka leave. I think he's proven uh, over the course of this season that he is an important player in this squad. He might not be great at all times he does make mistakes etc etc but you just feel like if we were to let him go then the rebuild in midfield would be too big and at this moment in time we need to rebuild our defense and and you know we need to build on the wing so I just feel that that's not a priority at the moment and letting Granit Xhaka go right now isn't the wisest of moves now, sticking with Italy, Italian publication Il Martino claimed David Ospina will still move to Napoli on a permanent deal after his loan expires, despite recent reports that the deal was off. Initially, Arsenal had specified an obligatory purchase clause if Ospina played 25 times. He ended up playing 24 times and didn't get a single game after that, leading to many believing that he wasn't wanted at the San Paolo. Now, Ospina isn't everybody's cup of tea, but I still feel that he's a very capable backup goalkeeper. And with Pedacek having left, I'd probably have brought him back. Um, I'd probably pick him over Martinez at this stage, just based on the fact that he's proven a little bit more. But you guys tell me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Ospina or Martinez, who would you uh, go with? According to the Times, Arsenal Invincible Freddie Lundberg will leave his role with the under-23s and join Unai Emery's first-team coaching staff. The Young Guns finished second in the Premier League 2 last season and Freddie's reputation continues to grow. He will be, though, an addition rather than a replacement. And despite the speculation, Steve Bold will retain his role. Now, I had the pleasure of watching Freddie's under-23s a couple of times last season and even managed to get a word with him after the victory over Derby. You can find that on episode 58 of the Chronicles of Aguna podcast. Elsewhere, head of performance Shad Forsyth has been pictured at AC Milan's training ground with you-know-who. Ivan Gazidis, fueling speculation he could be about to make his move over to Italy too. And in that case, we'd need to replace him too. Lots of rumours um, circulating at the moment. Of course, these are just reports at this stage. Um, be interesting to see how these stories develop, of course. But let me know your thoughts on the uh, topics discussed in today's video. Uh, like I said at the start, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, etc. Uh, do what you need to do. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow with another edition of the Chronicles AFC Daily. Until then, take care.